Welcome back, acapella enthusiasts. My name is John Smith, and sitting here to my left is Gail Abernathy McCadden Feinberger. Oh, this one's gonna stick, John. Well, you saved the Jew for last. <laughs> You're listening to Let's Talk Acapella, the world's premier downloadable acapella podcast. We are coming to you live from the nation's capital, where the Barton University Bellas are about to rock the historic Kennedy Center. Boy, these girls have broken down every single barrier in their path, haven't they, Gail? Absolutely, John. The first all-female group to win a national title, three-time defending champs, and now here they are, performing for the President of the United States on his birthday. Wow, what an inspiration to girls all over the country who are too ugly to be cheerleaders. They say you're free when we're having fun. They say you must be high when we're spreading love. And where does that in life that can never stop? We got the world. Flip right back over the fence into Mexico. I think she's Guatemalan. Oh, none of that matters. There is so much happening on stage, I don't even know where to look. Back in my day, we put on our blazers and we just sang. We maybe snapped our fingers if we were feeling frisky. Hey, from the ceiling. Who hasn't had that dream? Lots of them. commando situation. There is a commando situation on stage. Oh, he's on top of it. Oh, oh, what kind of up. Person? Take her back up. Pull her up already. She's turning. She's turning. No. Brace yourself. She's coming. She's coming. Avenge your eyes. I'll take it all in. They can't try. Not the front. Nobody wants to see the front. Oh, no. Happy birthday, Mr. President. The Australian singer who calls herself Amy gave the president a birthday gift from Down Under during last night's celebration held at the historic Kennedy Center. In case you're wondering what I mean by Down Under, Chip, I'm talking about her She showed her to the president. 